So today we are looking at evictions, the old serpent version, and we start with a song. I have seen, seen the victory of Jesus. Glory be to God. Glory be to Jesus. I have seen, seen the victory of Jesus. Glory be to God. Amen. When I look at my right, I see Jesus victorious. When I look at my left, I see Jesus victorious. When I look at my front, I see Jesus victorious. When I look at my back, I see Jesus victorious. I have seen, seen the victory of Jesus. Glory be to God. Glory be to Jesus. Okay, evictions. This one concerns the old devil. And it's very clear from Revelations how this particular eviction took place. Revelation 12, verse 19. So the great dragon was cast out. That serpent of old called the devil and Satan, who deceives the whole world. He was cast to the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. I know this is in Revelation, which is like, which is the last book of the Bible, but it actually references something that happened, you know, way, way back, you know, uh, even before creation. Uh, because, you know, I mean, the creation of, humans, because Satan was cast out, and then of course uh, to the earth, and that's why it's very troublesome in the earth. And even the Lord also you know, referenced this particular event of the eviction of Satan in Luke chapter 10 verse 18. So he told them, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. So the old serpent was evicted, um, you know, and you know, and that's why you see a lot of the calamities taking place in the world that we live in. So we need to be the kinds of people that are making the right call. Uh, and this is referenced in 2 Corinthians 11, verse 3. I'm afraid, however, that just as Eve was deceived by the serpent's coming, your mind may be led away from the simple and pure devotion to Christ. So because the enemy, you know, has been roaming the earth, he was able to deceive our first parents, Adam and Eve, and he's still in that business of deceit so that people can... You know, they look at the simplicity of the gospel just for you to accept the finished work of Christ on Calvary. And you can actually come into God's favor. You can become a child of God and you dismiss it because they want something very complicated for them to have salvation. You don't want to be deceived. It is still that is still the deceit, deceit of the devil. And you don't want to be part of, you know, uh, the gang of the enemy that has been cast out. That is losing sight. You want to be on the winning side by accepting Christ into your life. 